Another trick that bears Teller's signature is called shadows. It's a trick unlike any you're likely to see and was developed by him when he was still a teenager. He was sitting in his room in candlelight. He was a rather melodramatic teenager and he had some uh, blocks from his childhood and they were casting a shadow on the wall and he pushed the blocks and you could see the shadow move and and then it said what a great effect shadows is probably the best bit in our show it's a perfect example of a trick that you have the image you want and the image doesn't have to be a rose falling apart from the shadow but something falling apart the shadow being more important than that The first time I saw Teller do the shadow illusion, I actually cried. There, there are moments when magic is so poetic that it just catches me. Nobody knows how it's done and no one will figure it out, but that doesn't matter. You could do it a much, much simpler way. And the idea is so great and so powerful and so interesting that people would fool themselves just to make that image be real to them. The notion of envisioning that illusion and carrying it out so beautifully, so delicately and small and simple. Um, you know, I've seen it at least a dozen times live, and it, it, it always gets me. It was beautiful. It was a magnificent, simplistic-looking piece that suddenly something happened that you didn't expect. And it was also kind of gory and that aspect of it was also beautiful. <laughs>